Meanwhile, here in our area, WSLS 10's Duke Carter spoke with a man who was born in Paris and shares his reaction on those terrorist attack. Shock, of course. Bernard Marie, who used to live in Paris, says he learned about the attacks via cell phone. Thing is okay. In matter of fact, I said to some of my friends that uh, some people who were sitting in the Champs Elysees find out about that the same way than me on my cell phone. Marie says he was sad to learn so many people died after French police said several people detonated bombs attached to a vest. He's glad to know more were not injured or killed during a soccer game on Friday. Came in, which I cannot understand that, but that's good. I mean, that's a good news. We spoke to Holland University political science expert Ed Lynch, who reacted to the terrorist group ISIS that claimed they were behind the attacks in Paris. They seem to be getting stronger. They're very determined, very violent group that has as its goal terror, and that's what we saw in Paris. Lynch says because of the civil war happening in Syria, many refugees are going to Europe to get a better life. He says there are a few terrorists who sneak into Europe because there's no border control there. Lynch says it's important for the United States to show solidarity. I think as a nation, we need to prepare ourselves for a long twilight struggle against a very determined enemy. Enemy, Marie says France and allies should stand up against. We should fight for those who lost their lives. In Roanoke, Duke Carter, WSLS 10.